The demand for mobile multimedia services grows very fast, and the need for bandwidth grows with it. LTE technology is called to definitively boost the capacity of current mobile networks. LTE stands for Long Term Evolution. It refers to the standards to be used by mobile phone voice and data communications in the coming years. It is often named as 4G, for it is the natural evolution of the GSM and UMTS standards that we call 3G. In terms of radio frequency spectrum allocation, LTE can use different frequency bands, ranging from a few hundred megahertz to more than 3 gigahertz. There is one particular frequency band that draws the attention of television antenna installers. Under the so-called Digital Dividend program, television broadcasters using channels 61 to 69 must transfer their TV channels to lower frequencies, making the band available to mobile phone operators. They call it LTE Band 5. Because of the nature of mobile phone communications, Transmitting devices can be located virtually anywhere. Private home and community TV installations have been made for many years in such a way that they are able to receive signals up to channel 69. This means that they cover part of the band that today cellular phones will be using, and therefore interference problems resulting from proximity to base stations or mobile phone handsets are to be expected. The HD Ranger Plus has a special functions to help installers measure the level of activity in LTE frequency bands, so that they are able to anticipate potential interference problems. Because the HD Ranger Plus has a built-in LTE filter, it can also be used to compare measurements performed on TV muxes with and without the filter. To do that, we just go to Tools, LTE ingress test and select a TV channel that we will use as a reference for all the measurements. Channel 57 in this case. With the filter set to off position, we wait for a few seconds to make sure that we take into account the effect of the changing LTE transmissions. Then, we activate the filter and wait again. If the measurements improve when the filter is set to on, it means that LTE filters should be recommended for that particular installation.